Hey guys, welcome to Surf and Show. I'm headed to San Clemente to a surf shop called Use Surf Today. Now the reason I'm headed there is they have a great fin program. And you know, it really helps to try something before you buy it. And with fins being expensive and you know, not a ton of education out there on them, I think you guys will really appreciate what Use Surf is doing. I know this will only help the surrounding community of San Clemente, you know, but I believe that, that it'll help worldwide if other shops catch the vision of what Use Surf is doing to help the surf community worldwide. We're here in San Clemente at Use Surf. I'm here with co owner Maurice. Hey, Maurice, thanks for having me. Yeah, man, thanks for coming by. Sure. Hey, why don't, before we get started on the Finn program, why don't you tell us a little bit about the shop and what you guys do here? <clears throat> okay, uh, yeah, Used Surf is um, a consignment store, basically, for used surfboards. And we specialize in that part of, you know, the whole scope of surfboards. And uh, we, we sell hundreds of boards online and in this shop. There's probably about six or 700 boards to choose from. We've, we've grown quite large over the last couple of years. And uh, yeah, we just try to provide that service for everyone that's trying to sell their surfboard. We have a good website that gets tens of thousands of views. We have an Instagram you know, feed where we also feature boards. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the meat and potatoes of it. Tell me about your fin program and how it's going for you. Yeah, okay, so um, while I'm the co-owner of, of You Surf, I'm also, I also have a, a brand that um, I do edit surfboards and sorry surfboards. And what I constantly got was people inquiring about fins. And so what I realized was that fins were extremely important. And so that feedback pretty much led us to believe that a lot of people were interested in fins, but what they were really scared of is making a hundred dollar mistake. And so what we wanted to do was we wanted to provide a service that enabled them to kind of have a low risk entry into exploring what fin would work best for their board. And that would let them make an educated decision based on their experience. And then they wouldn't be making a hundred dollar mistake. So it's $5 for the one set, it's $10 for the two sets. And what that does is that kind of just gets you going, it acts as a kind of an insurance for you. And so um, at the end of it, when you're done and you found your fin, that price comes off the price of the fin. So there's really no risk. Okay, so let's say I come in, I'm looking at your fins. Let's say I go, I'm gonna walk over to one of my favorite speed generating fins and I'm gonna to touch this Futures Jack Freestone. I wanna rent those. Yeah. I get to keep them for how long and how much does it cost me? So it's, it's $5 and you get to ride that fin for one week and then you have to bring it back. Um, and then we kind of make it a rule, you're not able to keep it for longer than one week, even if you wanna keep riding that fin. We have people that are waiting for that fin and stuff like that. Sure. So you bring back the fin and you're like, okay, that felt pretty good, but now I wanna try the Mayhem. And so you give us back the Jack Freestone, and then we hand you off the, uh, the Mayhem, and then you're out the door for a week, you have that fin, and you get five tries, five slots. Um, so you get to try five different sets of fins. You could redo, like say the Jack Freestone, you're like, that kind of did feel pretty good. On your fourth slot, you want to try it again, that's no problem. We just don't let you do it in succession. Okay, so Maurice, how's the fin pr program going for you? Uh, it's going really good. It's going good. I mean, at first, it you know, a lot of people didn't know about it, but then as people started finding out about it, it's it's been an amazing process because it, it feels good. People are coming in, they're trying stuff, and they're like, yeah, I like this, you know, um, and they're finishing up with a good set of fins. So overall, it's increasing every month. It's going really good. Great. So I'm sure that that's great for the surfers, but now let's talk about it from a shop's perspective. Yeah. What would you say the conversion rate of closing a sale with somebody that invested that five bucks, did the five week program, found a set of fins, now they wanna apply that $5 to the purchase of a hundred, $120 set of fins, right? Isn't that how it works? Yep, totally. So what's the conversion rate you think? Um, 
From what we can tell by going through the information, it's it's solid. I mean, it's it's somewhere around 70%. So seven out of 10 people, six out of 10 people that do this process, finish off with, with finding the right fin and making the purchase. So it's good, it's solid. Right, well that's great. Now, this really kind of sets you apart from your competitors too, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. We wanted to do something that provided value to the surfing community and we realized that this was kind of being left on the table we also realized that people were intrigued by it but they were scared of it you know they just don't want to spend the money and make the mistake so sure. we kind of invested in you know our whole entire lineup of fins um so that it was just easy for someone to come in and and get the most out of their board and the most out of their surfing experience with that board sure now, another thing I was thinking about, and this, this has to do with your staff too, it's like as you're building community in San Clemente and the surrounding cities, your staff has to be pretty knowledgeable about fins too. So how Absolutely. often are your fins and your, and your employees changing fins and learning about fins themselves so you can answer questions for the surrounding breaks that are around here, right? Yeah, yeah, uh, it's great. I mean, John is an example. He surfs, you know, all the time and he's kind of a bigger guy and he rides a range of boards of like, you know, say six, two hybrids up to, you know, I mean, what are you riding like? Up to long boards. And the nice thing is that if you look at the staff, we have a couple of kids that spend most of their time either at gravels or at lowers. So we've got that world covered. The nice thing with those guys too is they're constantly changing out their fins, both in Futures and FCS too. Uh, myself, like Mo was saying, I'm riding bigger boards, so the, uh, the intermediate plus surfer that comes in here that's a bigger, older guy like me, they can relate to what I'm riding and I've got the experience because I'm, I'm rotating through the fins whether I'm riding the controller quads on a mid-length or going down and riding the lost larges on my short boards. Uh, we're going through all the fins. So I think we've got a really good mix of that. We also have a couple of girls that work at the shop, so we get the input from them and their, their needs as well on the boards they're running. <laughs> well guys, I just, I'm just i super stoked that you guys made time for me to come down today. I wish you guys the best success. I think your $5 fan program is incredible. Yeah, man, thanks so much. Stoked to share it with, with everybody. Yeah, you know? absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Noah. We hope that everybody comes in and takes advantage of it. It's here because we understand the apprehension of you guys looking at $100 fins and we'll give you the opportunity to try them all out. Epic. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's show. Look, I'm a huge fan of putting the right fins in your surfboard and trying before you buy. If you don't have a shop in your community that has a program like this, I suggest poking around online and finding out what works for you. Fins are very expensive, and they also can make or break the way a surfboard rides. And if you're a shop owner, consider implementing a program like this for the surf community around you and partner with the fin manufacturers and ask them to help you afford to give this service away. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you in the water. Bye-bye.